All right, guys, welcome back to more Elder Scrolls Online. Do me a favor and subscribe and like the channel on the series grow. Thank you for your support. It always means a lot. Keep showing the love, and I'll definitely keep bringing these out for you guys. Now, with that being said, let's do this. I'm not going to jump and cut since they're right here. I decided I to keep the really golden claw. to say thank you, Hallowed. You stood beside us at Ralka. Saw our parents. Saw our past. Thank you for your guidance and friendship. It means a great deal to us. But then, enough about the past. Kali has already laughed at my attempts to write down what happened. We have much more dangerous, immediate threats ahead of us. Kali has been chomping at the bit. She has grown tired of these Dromatra and hungers for bigger game. Okay. We hunt the Dark Mane, who has taken root deep within Moonmount. His legions have boiled up from below, killed most of the monks. And the beacons that mark the site as holy ground are grown dark. They fuel a ward lock upon the temple door. Take this prayer to the bright moons. We must go to the beacons, the large pillars around the temple. There we pray. We cleanse the beacons and drive away this darkness. Hallowed, I know together we can see this done. What do you say? We'll meet Let's you at go. the beacons. See you there, Howard. Okay, see. I have the golden claw with me. So I'ma see. She said I had the golden claw, but I, I didn't uh I didn't give it back, so I'm not sure if, if it makes a difference or not. We still kept it. I don't think so, Cersei. These bladed warriors are easy. Spell stuff on my turn. I guess the easiest way around that, I guess you could say. Ah! Sneak up behind me? I don't think so, sir. Treat your spell resistance. You're right. Like I said, it's an endless line on your memo. You make it increasingly difficult. For no apparent reason. Every single time. A noble Kajiti woman like Elif is murdered. And an avowed Daedra worshipping Argonian is given a role in the fighters' guild leadership. This one sickened. Nice work. See? Got it, alright, so now we're gonna go back across. <laughs> over here too. Okay, so we're gonna head 
southwest and southeast. So can I head this way? Yes, I'm going the right way. Here, fight it with her standing there. Get on my level, son. Tell you what, we can't sneak past them, though. Right here, we have to face them. Well, let me see. Let me see if we can sneak past them. I don't think we can. Can we? We can. Okay. As we proceed, you know the rest. Hallowed, this one is glad you are here. This beacon has an intensity to its corruption. It is teeming with the energies of the Dromatra. Shazam must perform the purification. You are powerful, my friend. But Shazam has long experience dealing with the dark energies here. She must be the one to dispel them. Besides, the ritual will no doubt draw attention. You must protect Shaza as she works. They come for the beacon. Get off! Uh. It's them though. They usually have low armor. Why do you so much damage to them at one time? No more is coming. I knew it. I purified most of them. She gets the last one. Where was all that? Whatever, dude. ESO logic. Man, we just did all that fighting. We gotta fight some more freaking. Look at this. Oh my god, man. Shut up! here nobody's here oh my god I mean just annoying I just faced an army 
Whatever, let's do it. I don't think so. Of course I did. Then he butts him after he gets out. That's so crazy, man. I hit the command, wait. Darn it! I could use more health. I ain't gonna lie. Let's try him on right now. 1585. those we'll see if I still want to use them or not with the beacons cleansed this ward is just an annoyance Shazai is preparing to crack it wide open you've already done your part here hello let's just stand back and let her do her thing alrighty let's do it What happened? Now what? <sighs> that thing was stronger than it looked. I'll be fine. Let's get inside. There's an icon. It's a mission. Look at that. Must be around the side. We made the move on. We're in the temple now. Maybe I was supposed to complete that Golden Claw mission. Maybe. And they probably gonna let me keep it anyway. Because I have not, you know, experienced anything different by me having a Golden Claw. I still had to fight an army of idiots. And it wasn't no easier than the last time I had to fight an army of cult idiots. Look at that. Look at him sucking his life. Another one to bite the dust, ladies and gentlemen. You are down. Sorry. I could drop my ultra on them over here, but.
Tharn and the Dark Mane dare to tread on Temple ground. <clears throat> Blasphemies against the Two Moons dance, and corruption crawls the walls in Moonmon's inner chamber. The Dark Mane's residue has twisted the altars to Masur and Secunda. It crawls from between the bricks, stretching and clinging to any ray of light. The darkness of the Dromathra reaches from where they dwell beyond, snuffing out all it touches. Ah, yes. Each of the three altars is normally aligned to one of the lunar phases. Simply refocus their light, throw back the darkness, and reclaim... Uh, that should allow you to pass through. In times of old, the carvings and adornments upon the walls would sing of the dance. Precious stones inlaid upon intricate plaques would speak to Masur and Secunda. Time has not been kind to these adornments, but still, they may speak to you. Picking puzzle, man. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So is this? Wait a minute. Just how to do it? No, they're all the moon symbol on the ground. Gee. Hydrate myself, water. I see. Okay, this goes here. Okay, and the middle one. It's a four. The altars are aligned. The darkness thrown back. Destroy the barrier, Shazam. There we go. Let's see this done. your sister <sighs> good old hydrate water all right I don't know he should be in here <laughs> where is he you are like mine now. Oh, no. champions oh he's gonna send his little lackeys out, out. He's talking about champions. Look out. Oh! Hey! God, this guy is huge. And he dual wheels. Come on! Here! Oh. Drop it on him. Drop it on him. Stun one, look on the other. There we go. Ah! 
I can see the light of the dance reflected in your eyes. Joan and Jod smile down upon you now. They are with you at this difficult hour. You must choose. <laughs> Did you guys hear how pissed off he was to be defeated? <laughs> with you are two modes in the darkness. Kali and Shaza are the lunar champions, truly. One will go on to shine as brightly as Joan and Jod. The other will twist and rot and wither here in the corruption below Moonmont. You are the Moon Hallow. It is your destiny to make this choice. One will live with you and walk the two moons path. They will become the next main. The other will hold the dark main in place here and dwell forever in darkness. Riddhar will tell you what he can, but know that this choice is yours. You must choose with your heart and your mind and your soul. You say it truly. She will remain here a prisoner in darkness. Only through the strength of her heart, the wisdom of her mind, can the evil that is the dark may You have seen for yourself, Moon Hallowed. The devastation at Fort Grimwatch. That is what is possible for a dark maid fully in control of their host. When the host and the darkness are one, the darkness is terrifying. The dark man is a creature of darkness. A being from beyond the stars. The only way he could be truly destroyed is to face him in one of those places beyond. But here, now, one of the champions can hold him. Make the world safe from his evil. No, Hallowed. This must be your decision. Okay. <laughs> so we either choose Kali, we choose Shazam. Okay. I'm gonna choose Shazar. Hallowed, Kali is not prepared for what's required here. Choose me to contain the Dark Mane. Of course, Hallowed. I will answer. I would... I would try to lead with wisdom. As the monks taught us, as I learned from my father. Mother was always so proud of Kali's blade work. She used to have her demonstrate for the other children. <clears throat> I'm sure they would want Kali to be the next main. She is far stronger, braver than I am. She's a bit... Absolutely. Kali would make a far better main. Her strength and resolve would serve her well. Shaza is well acquainted with the darkness of the Dromatra. She knows what must be done. I can do this. This is my responsibility. Take Kali and leave this place. Hallowed, she should be the next main. I am just a scribe who was born on a particular day at a particular time. I do not deserve to be main. All right, we're gonna go talk to Kali. Hallowed, Shazak cannot contain this darkness. She does not have the strength. Choose me to... Yes, Hallowed. Shaza is brilliant and talented, but I do not think she can physically take the strain of holding this darkness within her. I have the strength and the will to take on this burden. Yes, Shaza is much better suited to lead our people. She has studied so long and so hard. She knows much of the bright moons and is much better at dealing with people. She should lead, and I should stay. All right, here we go, guys. Kali's gonna do it. Sister, please reconsider. This is the way it must be. Sister, do not weep for me. This creature is now contained. Leave this place, sister. Java turned to oblivion. I won't let her live like this, Hallow. I won't. You and I are going to walk the path together. We'll destroy Tarn, and I will return with the most powerful sages in Tamria. Together, we'll free my sister from this torment. Oh my god, man, come on. I 
won't let her live like this. Ali, damn it. So strong, so forceful, so stupid when it comes to things like this. I suppose there is nothing else for it. We have to make for do. Walk the two moons path. It's been my destiny since I was a cub. I know that now. We walk the path and I become the new main. Then we get my sister back. All right, so next time, we'll be heading to Dune. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care.